morning and win today to all my viewers how are you all doing i wish you all a blessed week in jesus mighty name amen yeah this is um, a video of mommy evelyn joshua the reopening of um Senegal church of all nation in on the state nigeria and this is the um the message that uh, Mommy Evelyn Joshua delivered to the congregation. And you can see everyone is so attentive listening to her, to what she was um, talking about. She was um, talking about the story of Nicodemus, Nicodemus, who went to Jesus in the night to ask Jesus, how will he be born again? And Jesus told him that he is he he has to be born again and he thought that the way jesus was um, jesus told him that he's gonna be born again like he's gonna go back to his mother's womb again to be born again and that wasn't what jesus meant so i think from that thing jesus has explained to him and then he know exactly what jesus meant of him being born again so that is the story that uh Mommy Evelyn Joshua was um, trying to um, um, to explain to the congregation. Yeah, so I want you guys to um, watch and listening to Mommy. Join me as we listen to her to her this message, because this message is really powerful and a very strong message. So. Join me and let's listen to her. To you, I do not give as the word gives. You can only give what you have. You don't give out what you don't have. Christ has peace, and that peace he has given to us. Abundance of peace he has given to you. Say, do not let your heart to be troubled. Don't be afraid. Don't let your heart to be troubled. Don't be afraid. It is only when fake light goes off that life becomes a weary road. Life becomes a fearful path. My peace I give to you, I don't give as the word gives. It means that the word can also offer you peace. The world can give you peace. But what peace? Temporary peace. And you know what the man of God, Prophet TV, just said about this kind of peace? The peace that the world offers you. He said it's the glory of the world. The glory of the world is a fading thing. And not just that, also the life that is being bestowed upon. People of God. I choose to talk about this man today, Nicodemus. Nicodemus. When you talk about holding fast to that which is sure, which is true, you are actually talking about the truth about God. You are talking about the life of Christ Jesus. What he has given to you. Freedom from guilt. Freedom from sin. I choose to talk about this man, Nicodemus. He is a man like you. A man set aside to maintain the way of the Lord. He was set aside to maintain the way of the Lord. So say to yourself today. God, set me apart for your glory. Father, set me apart for your glory. Pray for your neighbor. Say, God Almighty, set my neighbor apart for the glory of God. Yes. Nicodemus was set apart to maintain the way of the Lord. The Bible made us to understand that he was a teacher. A Pharisee. 
at that time. He's not an ignorant man. He knows the law. When he met Christ Jesus, he knows the law. He was a teacher. But he came to him. A Pharisee, teacher of the law, they own it. It is their inheritance, they claim. So what do you want to tell them? They know it all. But all power in heaven and earth has been vested in the name Jesus Christ. It is the name by which a lost soul can be redeemed. A name by which the sick body, afflicted body, can be healed. It is the name by which those in captivity, those in bondage, can be free. Name above every other name. Jesus Christ. Welcome him. What made Nicodemus to start tracing the light is what you have to look at now. Yes, because the Bible told us that he saw the great light and he decided to visit that light at night. He has heard, he has seen the good work that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was doing, touching lives, healing souls. He saw that great light and he decided to visit the light at night, so that he can see more and well. Who walks at night? We all want to walk by day. Jesus Christ's walk was not done at night. It was by day. But this man decided to visit him at night. But because he was tracing that light, the great light, the light shone on his path, and he was able to get to his destination. But you know what? Christ is looking for a full-time followers. Jesus Christ is looking for a full-time followers, not part-time. Are you a full-time followers of Christ Jesus? Are you a full-time follower of Christ Jesus? Don't be a part-time. Don't be a part-time follower of Christ Jesus. He is looking for full-time followers. Nicodemus approached Jesus Christ. He acknowledged him. He said to him, We know. We know you are a teacher that comes from God. I want us to take note of the word we. Who are the we? We cannot only be Nicodemus. We cannot only be you. It can't only be me. He said we. We know you are a teacher from God. Meaning there are many who knew it was from God. But something was keeping them behind. This is the only man who could come forward, holding fast to that which is sure, truth. Say to somebody, dare to be different. Uh. Say dare to be different. Because you are created to be different. We are made to be different. He came out to acknowledge him. Even there were many who knew he was from God. He hold fast to that which is sure, which is true. Examine all things in the light of God's word. Examine all things in the light of God's word. Don't tell me what you think. Don't tell me what you know. 
or what you feel. Tell me what you believe about Christ Jesus. Tell me what you believe about Christ Jesus. Is he the healer, the savior, the redeemer to you? Or who is Christ to you? He held fast to that which is sure and said to him, No one, there's nobody who can do all this that you are doing. All this work that is coming out from your hand, unless God is with him. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. God is with us. Christ is with us. That is the evidence of what we are seeing today. Nicodemus, a teacher of the law, a Pharisee, he acknowledges Christ Jesus and said to him, no one, nobody can do all this that you are doing unless God is with that person. God is with us. Forward we move. Because he's with us, greater height we get. So my brethren, what is that that prompted Nicodemus to be saying this? He saw the teacher's teaching, the Savior's teaching. It's act of love. Faith without work is dead. He saw his compassionate acts. The love he shared with people, the hope he gives. And his heart longed to see more, to understand more. The heart of Nicodemus longs to understand more. The Bible in the book of John, one verse, might say something. He referred to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as the great light. Who gives light to everyone? He gives light, he gives life to everyone. He shines his light into your life and brings you to a place of rest. When he shines his light into your life, he shines that light so that you can know the truth about him and the world around you. Many are drawn to that light today. Many of us we have heard about Christ Jesus. Maybe it's feeling or whatever, but we know that there's a God. They are drawn to that light, but they are afraid of what that light will reveal about them. Remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Nicodemus, they were discussing about something. Born again. Huh? How can a man enter his mother's womb and born again? Is that possible? That was their discussion. Christ is the great light. He enters into your life and brings you to a place of rest. Where you will worry no more. Where you will trouble no more. And even if you do, you know there is God who is above all. Many are drawn to him today, but they are afraid of what that life will reveal about them. They are past. They are witnesses. Self-image. What people think about them, how they view them. That is it good? Is it right for you to then remain under your shadow? Because you are afraid of what the world will say about you. Many want to associate with Christ Jesus today, but they are afraid. Is it right for you to remain in your own self? The Bible in the book of Corinthians 5 verse 17 told us, it says, if any man is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away and every other thing has become new. Nicodemus. He came to Christ Jesus at night. Why? Because he was afraid. 
He was afraid. But when he heard the word, the good news, message of righteousness, his faith rise up inside of him. We say that when your faith is risen, you will fear no more, you will doubt no more, that you believe the more, you have faith the more, you pray the more, and you will conquer. That was what happened to him. He came to Christ Jesus. He had the good news, message of righteousness from him, and he became a new being. He began to see things in a new way. And so I say to you today, if you are coming to Christ Jesus with fear, like Nicodemus, hear the good word, hear the good message. Turn it over, 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 and over again in your heart. That one will transform your old self to your new self. If you are coming to Christ Jesus today with fear, thinking of what is going to reveal that about you, hear the good news. You will be set free. You will be delivered from that past. If you come into this auditorium and you could not sit in the front, sit wherever you sit. You are in God's presence. In God's presence, there is fullness of grace, abundance of his love. If you are still coming to Christ Jesus with great expectations of healing, deliverance, blessings, just believe. Just believe, in God's time, everything is beautiful. So if you walk in here with great expectations of healing, deliverance, blessings, protection, believe. That is your connection to the throne. Believing is your connection to the throne of grace, throne of God. In his time, everything is beautiful. You are only having an encounter with God. And an encounter with Christ is an encounter of joy, salvation, peace. Remember, he's what to you. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. I don't give like the word gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and don't be afraid. Christ knows you. He sees you. He loves you. And he will shine his light into your life. To reveal and restore you. To bless you. To forgive you. And to lead you into the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. And for the salvation of your soul. And so people of God... I encourage you. Seek the face of God at all times. No matter what is happening in your life, no matter what life presents to you, know there is a creator. Every power in heaven and earth belongs to him. You will never be confounded in time or in eternity. If you seek a model. So I'm leaving you here today in faith. And I pray that I will also meet you by faith. Here is your church. We are sent into the world to multiply. Multiplication is not only having children. Evangelize. Through your action, people are watching you. When you say, I am a child of God, immediately you begin to proclaim that word, proclaim that word. People are watching you, your attitude, your action. Let the life of Christ reflect in all you do. And so I urge you all, children of the synagogue, those who are coming to join us, here is your church. Let Christ's life reflect in all you do. They say the fear of the God is the beginning of
of wisdom. Be enveloped by the fear of God as you walk into this place. So that everything that the Lord has in store for you will come to be. They will remain permanent in your life. I bless you. God be with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Viewers, what a wonderful message. What a powerful message that we had from our mother in the Lord, Mommy Evelyn Joshua, in the opening church of, um, on the Squam Church of Nation in Ondo State. The message was so powerful and it's touching and it's like convicting everyone in the heart that seeking God and and, and he, he take the reverence of, uh, of uh, Nicodemus who went to Jesus in the night to ask him how will he be born again and what um, Jesus told him he thought that that him supposed to go back to his mother's womb in order for him to be born again what a powerful message so guys i will leave you guys until i come your way don't forget to uh like my video and also subscribe to my channel until i come your way again yeah so stay blessed and continue watching emmanuel tv continue to listen to this heavily powerful messages from our mother in the lord mommy evelyn joshua they are so 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 powerful messages and it all also convicted con sort of um convict the heart whenever you listen to these messages these messages are above they are from above yeah so thank you guys for listening until i come your way again stay blessed in jesus name